everybody. Welcome to a, a dash, dash of, of spices. spices. Today we're making seared mahi mahi by dash of spices. spices. Let's get started. Give us a thumbs up and comment and subscribe. This is a very quick and easy seared mahi-mahi, another healthier recipe from a dash of spices. I'm also going to include a complete ingredients um, down below at the description box. So our ingredients are dry white wine, water, ketchup, brown sugar, and olive oil. We have grape tomatoes, this is cat and halves, chopped onions, I'm using white onions, minced garlic, chopped red bell pepper, green onions for toppings, also bok choy. Spices are garlic pepper, Italian seasoning, parsley, ground black pepper, rosemary, salt, coconut oil, garlic salt. This is a mahi-mahi filet, which I season with salt and garlic pepper. In a warm skillet, I'm gonna heat up olive oil and also coconut oil. I'm going to brown the mahi-mahi, cooking the mahi-mahi about five minutes each side. Also, it's good if you're using a nonstick skillet. This is a nonstick skillet, which I totally like. I'm going to do a review about the skillet because I got like a whole um, set for Mother's Day. So there's going to be a separate video uh, about my review of this skillet, but so far they're really good. So now that Mahi Mahi is cooked, remove it. I remove it from the skillet. With the same skillet, I literally just drain the oil and wipe it off. Just make sure you don't get burned. I just wipe it off with a paper towel so it's easy to clean it. Now I'm cooking the garlic. Now I add the onions. Just make sure that both of these are browned, lightly browned. Just cook them nice and easy and now add the tomatoes, red bell pepper. I'm just slowly mixing the ingredients until they're like uh, well combined. Now I'm adding one teaspoon of ketchup. Just mix them nicely. I add one cup of water. And now I'm start seasoning them with all the dried spices. Rosemary, Italian seasoning, garlic, pepper, black ground pepper, salt, also a pinch of garlic salt. You have to be easy with the salt because you could adjust this later on. I'm going to cover this and let it cook for five minutes. Now after five minutes, remove the lid. Now I'm going to add uh, the dry white wine. You could use any wine, any white wine. I'm adding one fourth cup of the dry white wine. You could add more later on. You could ad still adjust the sauce later on after you add the fish. Also, I'm adding a teaspoon of brown sugar. I'm using brown sugar to blend the tomato and the taste of the tomato and the white wine kind of balance it out and also I'm adding a parsley a dry parsley the reason why I'm using a dried ingredients because that's the only thing that is accessible for me but if I have a fresh parsley and rosemary I'm gonna use that the rosemary and the fresh parsley actually taste better but the dry dried ingredients will do Just mixing them together, taste it, 
this is the time you could balance it out. I add a couple of drops of the white wine. Now I'm going to add the fish. Just put that on top of the sauce and let it cook for five minutes. After five minutes, I'm just gonna pour that sauce on top of it or drizzle the sauce on top of the fish. Or you could actually flip the fish, but I don't wanna kind of move the fish a lot. Now you put the bok choy on top of the fish. This dish actually tastes better with white rice, but I'm using pasta with this dish because of the wine. The wine kind of tastes good with the pasta as well. You might be wondering how does the bok choy taste with the pasta. It's actually good if you try it. Just don't overcook the bok choy. If you have that crunch, that's actually good. So I put the bok choy on top of the pasta. You could put this on top of a white rice. It's really up to you. And then make sure to drizzle lots and lots of sauce. The sauce actually tastes good with the pasta. You could eat the pasta with the sauce itself. And top it with the green onions. And if you have parsley, you could put parsley instead of green onions. And that's it. This is a very quick and easy dish. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you make this dish, please make a comment. How did it turn out? I hope it turns out good. This dish is actually good. Uh, my daughter just eat the pasta with the sauce. She don't like mahi mahi, but she likes salmon. So, but she still eat the the pasta with just the sauce. This sauce is really perfect for a white rice or a pasta. Again, please um, subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. Thank you for watching. A dash of spices. Have a good one, everybody.